Now let's set up Drobo. First, we'll insert the hard drives. We recommend you use a minimum of two drives in order to protect your data. Inserting a drive is easy. In fact, no tools or drive carriers are needed. You can add a drive whether a Drobo is powered on or off. To install a drive, simply pick it up so the connector end points down. Please try not to touch any exposed circuit board. Align the drive in front of one of the data bay connectors. Push the drive into the slot. The lock tab on the left will help guide you. Insert until you feel the drive contact a spring. Push a little further until the connector is seated and the tab locks the drive into place. To install another drive, repeat the same process. Now we will connect cables and power up Drobo. You can connect Drobo to your computer using either USB 2.0 or FireWire 800. If you are using USB 2.0, you should plug the square end into Drobo and the flat end into your computer. If you are using FireWire 800, connect one end to Drobo and the other to your computer. Next, plug the power adapter cord into Drobo and the other end into the wall. As Drobo goes through its power-up sequence, all the data bay indicators will turn red and the blue capacity lights will flash. When Drobo has completed its power-on sequence, the data bay lights will turn green.